Okay, another report here. This time the query is a little bit more complex and I want to take the opportunity to show you in the query some other methods where you can query your table. So we'll begin with this exercise, a continuation, same paper as the previous one. You can see it's to do with trees and boards. It says that you need to create the report from all the data that shows the board ID, tree type, thickness, ready and sold fields only. So I'm just going to highlight this, say that I've started that bit off. I'm going to go to my database and quickly go to create query design. Again, we need to create a query before we can produce the report. So I'm going to add my three tables and just to spread that out and make sure all the fields are clearly visible. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to double click on the, one it, the ones it tells me so that I can add them to my query. Board ID, tree type, thickness. So I want the board ID. The tree type is here. And I want the thickness. Ready and sold. Ready and sold. Okay, now we'll go back and see what the question says. Displays these fields only with the data shown in full in portrait. I need to remember that. Portrait on orientation. And filtered to one. Uh, fitted to one page again that should fit on one page so i'll highlight that as well now then um, only includes boards where the type includes the text plain or beach so let's start with this one if i first run my report to have a look and see what is displayed i can see here i've got the tree type and i've got the word beach here now that's cut off, so I'm going to just extend this so I can see what's in there. Okay, can you see that the word plain here is included in the text? It's not like here where you can just look for beach. I need to look for the word plain within the text. And what else have we got here? So, ah, there's another one. You see here, beach again, but it's not on its own. So if I was looking for beach only, for example, when I type this, tree type B, actually let's do plain, plain, and I run, I don't get any results because there are no results in the, in the tree type which says only the word plain. Now if I was to do beach only, then it would only return the ones where the field contains only the word beach, not contained anywhere in that text. So I need to first do this. I want to find all the ones like star beach star. Now the star basically means that you can have anything in front, anything at the end, as long as beach is somewhere within the middle. Okay, and I'm going to show you a couple of these now. So if I run this, you can see it shows all the ones where it says beach, but also these ones here because beach is anywhere. Let me change that a bit. If I was to do like star beach, that will return all the ones that have anything in front but finish with the word beach. So that one there. But can you see the other ones? do not appear because they begin with the word beach. So if I was to change that now to like beach star, that will show me all the ones that begin with the word beach. Now this is really good. So that one and this one here. So this is a, a really good method for you to learn um, because if you're looking, let's say within an ID number, you want all the ones that begin with uh, let's say the letters ABC, then you can do ABC star, and you don't care about the rest. If you're looking for um, everything that happened in the year 2016, and it's got a and it's a date field, you can do star 2016. So you don't care what the month and the day is; uh, you only care how it finishes, and that's 2016. So that's a good technique. So for this exercise, I want like star plane star and then i'm going to use the or command space or i'm just going to do that in capital letters so it stands out and then i'm going to do like space star beach star 
So this is going to give me, well, it should return. And in fact, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to cut that because the correct way is do one, make sure it works. There it is there. So can you see the word plane is contained there? And then add the next part. And this way you make sure that this part works before you do the next part. So if something goes wrong now, I know it's with my, uh, my code here. So if I run this, it should show beach, plane, and then beach at the beginning. There we go. Okay. So that's that part of my query complete. Next. Which are at least 0 0.05 millimeters thick. Now, again, before I do this, I'm going to show you some more techniques that you can use. So here's the thickness. And I'm going to run my query just to have a look. And I can see the thickness here has got decimal values, 0 0.031, 0 0.5. And it goes up to 0 0.65. Okay, it's always good to have a look at the data before you start querying. Okay, so um, here are some examples. I can type less than 0 0.03. This will return all the ones which are less than 0 0.03. There aren't any. Okay, let's do less than 0 0.05. And there we go. So all of these are less than 0 0.05. I can do uh, less than or equal to. And I, if there, there you go, that's 0 0.05 there. I can do this one as well. You see, so you can do greater than, it's the same as less than. But for the exercise, it wants all the ones which are at least 0 0.05 millimeters thick. So I can do this. It has to be greater than or equal to 0 0.05. Because that means it's at least 0 0.05 and anything thicker. Okay, and it'll give you these. Let me show you uh, two more, slightly more complicated ones. So let's say I wanted all the ones which were between 0 0.5 and 0, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. Okay, so I will do this. I'm going to show you two methods. Between, command between 0 0.03. And I'm going to use the word AND, AND in capitals, 0 0.05. And that should return all the ones that are between 0 0.03 and 0 0.05. You see, you get none of the 0 0.65s here. Okay, so that's the between command. Now, you can also do this like this. Uh, greater or equal to, well, greater than or equal to 0 0.03. And less than or equal to 0 0.05. That's just as good. So that's like the between command, and you should get the same results. Okay. So for this exercise, we just want anything which is greater than or equal to 0 0.05. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the next part. So we've done that, which are ready now and not sold yet. Um, we've done something similar in the previous exercise. So ready now. So they have to be ready. So I can either type yes or I can type true. That's just as good. And sold is here. I'm going to put false just to make it look different. Although I would prefer to put uh, no because that I can relate to what it says here with what I'm looking for. But just to show you that true and false works. Here we go, there's, there's the results. So, um, contains plain, beach, uh, greater or equal to 0 0.05 for the thickness, ready is yes and sold is no. Okay, so that's that done and that one. I right, I'll sorted in ascending order of tree type. Now, I can do this as well here, but I prefer to do this in the report. But if you look here, sort tree type, I can sort in ascending order. Now, we can do this in the query only if we're sorting by one field. In the previous exercise, I showed you in the previous video, we had to sort with three fields. First this, then this, then the other. And you can't do this in the query. So if I was to run this now, it should be sorted in that tree type. Okay, so next. 
counts the number of records available. This is part of the report, and the title is part of the report. So we finished with the query. I can save this, and remember we save the query with Q or question and the question number, 31. And that just allows me to know this query here is for question 30, and this one's for question 31. There you go. So I can close that now. I'm going to create my report very quickly. Create a report wizard. This is a very easy report. There's nothing special to it. I'm going to make sure I choose the correct query, query 31. Add everything. Next. Um, I'm going to, I don't want to have this kind of categorized uh, method of showing uh, the report. In fact, I'm going to show you this because I said I would in the previous exercise as well. I'm going to have this one that shows everything. I don't want any grouping. I want, again, I, from here, although I've done this, I'm going to do this again. Always do this from the report. It makes sure it's correct. So the, the sorting from here. Next, I want portrait. Was portrait, yes. Uh, portrait orientation. Um, next, and give this a title. I can give my title from here. The title is a uh, plain and beach boards available. Plain and beach boards available. Again, make sure you put the small letters, capital letters, exactly as they're written here. Capital, capital, everything is small. Believe it or not, that's a mark lost if you don't. Finish. And there's my report. And now, obviously, I'm going to go uh, through the process, close the print preview, go to design view, and just very quickly adjust these so uh, nothing's chopped off. So I've got a very big board I need there. This is a small one, so I can do this very quickly using the control button there, bring the thickness out, and make the ready bigger. And so and that should be fine. There we go. Okay, it wants. So we've done. Uh, we've done that bit, and we've done displays for fields only with all data shown. That one there. And now I need counts the number of boards available and places this value at the bottom of the report. So we've done this already, but it's a very quick process. So go to design view. I'm going to go to the board ID because you can't have a field, or you can't have a board without its ID. So I'm just going to click on totals and count records. Now the difference between records and values is, if I'm counting, let's say, the tree type, and there are 10 records, but one of them does not have the tree type entered, then it will return the value 9 if I do count values. If I do count records, it counts how many records there are. So it's, uh, it's kind of important you understand the difference. So with the board ID, because you cannot have a record without an ID, it's a primary key, whether I do count values or count records, it's going to give me the exact same number. There's no difference. So I'm just going to choose one of these. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I just do count records on it, and it adds that there. And now from here, um, count the number of boards available and place this value at the bottom of the report. So it doesn't even tell you where to add it. It doesn't even tell you to put your candidate details. It just asks you to produce the report. Doesn't tell you, does it tell you to print? Yeah, make sure you, yeah, there we go. Make sure that you have your name, set a number, candidate number on the so it doesn't want a label for this. So I'm just going to leave that number there. I'm going to go to the page footer. Here it is. Delete these and add my name. So I'm going to add a, a label. And to make sure it's center aligned this time, I'm going to make my label this big. I'm going to type my details. CY127 and one, two, three, four. Uh, well, oh, here we go. The line. So I'm going to, with this selected, I'm going to just click on that, and that's going to line that in the middle. Now, because I've got this spread across the width of the page, 
when I center align it or the width of the report, it's going to align it to the center form. And if I have a quick look and go to my run the report, file, print, preview, there it is, nicely center aligned with my value at the bottom. Okay, so that's basically it. There's not really much more there for me to do. As I said, I'm going to show you what's going to happen if you create another report. So I'm going to close that one, uh, save that one. Yes, I'm going to do another quick report and show you the difference. Well, you see what I mean, it's hard to explain now. So if I do create a report with uh, the wizard, where I might need to go, I'm going to base it again on question 31 and everything next. And this time, instead of choosing this one that shows all my data, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to go to next. I'm not going to do grouping. Next. Ascending order of tree type it was. No, all right. I don't have tree type. Why? Because I've chosen this one. So it's going to do it by tree type already. So next, next, hit portrait, nah. preview the report, finish. And here's the difference. Can you see what it's doing now? It's got the tree type and then all the details underneath. Okay. That's what happens when you choose the, uh, the, the different, if you base your report on the, on a different table. So by basing it on the, on the tree type, it's got all the details for beach copy here. And this is actually quite a nice way to do a report because you don't have to have the word be, uh, uh, beach copper written 20 times. Okay, that's it.